Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Now, do you know the difference between the two-wheel drive, the four-wheel drive and an all-wheel drive? I mean, you would be knowing the difference between the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive. But what is the real difference between the four-wheel drive and an all-wheel drive is what we are going to be understanding in today's video. The first type of drive system that we'll discuss is the two-wheel drive. Now, as the name suggests, two-wheel drive is basically your wheels, either of the two wheels are driven in your car, the front wheels or the back wheels. If it's the front wheel drive, it's called the FWD, which is front wheel drive. And if the rear wheels are driven, it's called an RWD. Now, when whenever the car is uh, is a front wheel drive, the combination is basically an engine, the gearbox, and the tires driving the wheels, powering the wheels. Now, uh, this system is very economical because there is no shaft in case of a rear wheel drive. A shaft that goes powering the wheels behind. Instead, the, the, the gearbox is straight transferring the power to the wheels in front when it's a front wheel drive. The front wheel drives are also space efficient because there are less components and directly power transmitted to the front wheel. Another advantage of the front wheel drive is that while climbing hills because the engine's uh, weight is in equilibrium with the front wheels. Basically, it gives you a very balanced uh, car when you're going uphill. Also, when a car is front driven wheels, it's easier to control the, the, the balance of the car because if you have an understeer, which is when your front grip is in there, but then you have the power and the steering, it's easier to control the car compared to the rear wheel drive. The rear wheel drive is, uh, is majorly seen in trucks and cars as well. But why in trucks is because the truck has an engine in the front and where, and it is going to be loaded in the back. So what happens is when you have the rear wheel drive, it basically gives you a balanced weight distribution. The next type of drive system is the four wheel drive. Now, this is basically all your SUVs that have the four wheel drive. Now, this system uh, performs better in off-road uh, conditions. Why? Because all the four wheels are powered at the same time. Now, distribution may be different in, in different kinds of vehicles, but then they are, they, uh, the, the wheels are basically powered uh, to make sure that whenever you get stuck, the, the other wheels make sure to pull you out of your problem. The four wheel drive basically gives you better traction compared to the two wheel drive. Now, how is that? Because you have four wheels driven. So say, suppose you're stuck in, 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 in a desert somewhere or in a puddle. So if your two wheels or one of your wheels get stuck, the other three wheels make sure that they pull you out of that. The four wheel drive also has a differential lock and low range options for applying uh, better traction. Uh, the low range basically gives you high torque and low power, but then that basically helps you in coming out if you ever get stuck. So the four wheel drive system can also be used as a two wheel drive system. Say for example, an FJ Cruiser. Now the FJ Cruiser has a lever which allows you to convert the two wheel drive into four wheel drive whenever you're going off roading. And whenever you are on roads, you can switch back to the two wheel drive. Next type of drive system is the all wheel drive system. Now in this system, the, the, the engine basically powers all the four wheels constantly though not equal amount of power goes into all the wheels. Now, this system is basically suitable for supercars. If you know an Audi R8, it has all-wheel drive system. So what happens is all the four wheels are uh, being constantly driven. But then there is an electronic ECU which is controlling the, the power that goes to all the four wheels. There are sensors which gives it uh, information on how much power to deliver to all the four wheels. Now, this type of system is basically suitable for high performance vehicles. As I mentioned before, Audi R8 has, a, a, has an all wheel drive system and this system basically helps in better handling. 
when you're going into a corner it gives you more traction but like a four-wheel drive system an all-wheel drive system does not allow you to switch back to a two-wheel drive system but in fact this system is always on all the time the problem with the all-wheel drive system is that it it is bulky and it reduces the the fuel economy compared to the four-wheel drive system where you can convert back to the two-wheel drive and that increases your fuel efficiency. Where the all-wheel drive system helps is because it powers all the four wheels, what it does it is it reduces the stress on a single wheel so there is much more less wheel spin and the wheel components last much longer now of all the drive systems the two wheel drive system is the most efficient system because it's only powering the two wheels the engine is only powering the two wheels the next system is the four wheel drive system because the four wheel drive system can be converted into a two wheel drive when whenever you are on normal road so it's 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 not uh, the best compared to the two wheel drive system but then it is better than the all-wheel drive system the all-wheel drive system because all the wheels are powered at all the time it is the least efficient system now in my opinion you do not need a four-wheel drive system if you are not a frequent off-roader also uh, you do not need a an all-wheel drive system if you do not need power and traction of course you need traction but then the the two-wheel drive systems are enough to give you the the amount of traction on normal roads but unless you want power and traction at high speeds then you have to go for an all-wheel drive system but otherwise you are better off with a normal two-wheel drive system but in case you do want a a proper four-wheel drive system then you should go with a normal four-wheel drive system now why is that is because a four-wheel drive system also allows you to uh, convert uh, to a two-wheel drive system and drive it on normal roads and whenever you need off-road capabilities from your car you can switch to a four-wheel drive system now that is at least more fuel efficient compared to the all-wheel drive system but not really as efficient as the two-wheel drive system but you're better off between the two by getting a four-wheel drive system now, i hope this video gives you some understanding about the basic drive systems and how different they are and what you should be going for based on your requirement give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come and also do not forget to check my other videos out on my channel page see you soon next time bye bye